I am Anil Kumar and will share an example to verify mean value theorem. The question here is, verify that the function f of x equals to e to the power of 3x in the closed interval 0 to 2 satisfies the hypothesis of mean value theorem on the given interval. Then find all numbers c that satisfies the conclusion of the mean value theorem. So to begin with, let me sketch the exponential function approximately, right? So we're just making a very, very rough sketch. So it will be kind of like this, right? So any exponential function uh, will be kind of like this, right? With positive exponent. Now, at zero, we are sure the value will be one. And at two, uh, let us say this is one. And let's say, let's say this point represents on the x-axis value two, right? So what we have here is a function f of x, which is e to the power of 3x. So it is continuously growing function as shown here. Now we have to show that this satisfies hypothesis of mean value theorem. So in mean value theorem, we have two hypotheses. One is that the function should be continuous. And the other one is differentiable. Now exponential functions are continuous on their entire domain and they are differentiable also. So therefore, they will be continuous in the given domain, which is 0 to 2, and differentiable in the open domain, 0 to 2, right? So if that is true, then what does mean value theorem say? It says that there is a point C somewhere in between where f dash C is equals to f of B minus f of A over B minus A. That is what it says, right? So the interpretation is kind of like this, that if I join these two points, Right, that gives me, if I join these two points, this slope gives me FB minus FA divided by B minus A. And as we can see, somewhere in between, we will have a point where the slope will be same as that. So that's kind of instantaneous rate of change. Now we need to find that point C where this happens. So we need to find that point C, where, which that's the question, right? So let us see how to do it. Now from here, we can substitute the values. Uh, we know what is, if, uh, let me write down here, f dash c. We know f of x is equals to e to the power of 3x. So f dash x is equals to 3 times e to the power of 3x, right? So f dash c will be equal to 3 times e to the power of 3c. f of b, b is, in this case, b is equal to 2 and a is equal to 0, right? So f of b will be value of the function at 2, which is e to the power of, I mean, e to the power of 2 times 3, which is 6, and f of 0 will be e to the power of 0, right? So the, that is 1, right? So we can write f of b as e to the power of 6 minus e to the power of 0 divided by 6 minus 0, right? So we get 3 e to the power of 3c equal to e to the power of 6 minus 1 divided by 6. Now we can calculate the answer by taking natural log on both the sides. Before that, let me write this as e to the power of 3c equals 2, e to the power of 6 minus 1, divide by, when we take this on that side, we get 18, right? So, if I take natural law, so we get 3c, I mean, okay, so, so let me write this as 3c equals to ln e to the power of 6 minus 1, divided by 18, right? So, that is what we get. So let's calculate this answer. 
so we have this one is okay so we have ln within brackets we'll put one more bracket for the numerator e to the power of 6 oops so we have ln within brackets e to the power of 6 minus 1 bracket close divided by 18 and that gives us 3.107 so which is 3.107 so what is c equals to c equals to 3.107 divided by 3 so we'll divide this by 3 okay 3 equals to 1.035 so we get 1.035 so approximately that is the point x value at which f dash c will be same as the uh, rate of change of this number so we get our answer as the point c is equals to 1.035 is it okay so that is how you can actually solve such questions i hope that makes sense i'm anil kumar you can always share and subscribe my videos thank you and all the best